too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. <laughs> I say, let that. us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. If your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Shit. She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Sorry, Doctor. It appears your position has just weakened. I understand, but you'll have nothing if she poisons us all. Jador will be with the rejected takes. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Shit. Okay. Some of them you don't get another chance. This might be useful. Krogan Vitality. Hell yeah. This makes Grunt better. Make more health, I believe. This is my world. I'll poison them all. Insane, delusional, unexpected. Just do the trick. Faulty ass neck. Going silent. Look out. Alarms in laboratory. Unlikely to be good news. Shepard, the lab oh, alarms coincided with the system's failure. The remaining lab systems are unprotected, and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins, and Okir's personal life signs are failing rapidly. I recommend contamination. Okir, no. Sure. 
After all he's done, he was willing to die to save this thing? Must be valuable. Delusional. Unlikely one Krogan, however strong, could have impact Okir wanted. Am... Um, almost certain. Suggest leaving it. Afraid he'll make your genophage obsolete? No. But Krogan genetically dangerous, socially dangerous as well. Have enough enemies without adding this. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. He's a big guy. It's big. Yay, squad points. Cloning facility destroyed. Okir dead, but his son was recovered. Loss of Okir could be a problem. Will allow Shepard to decide whether to activate the Krogan. All Krogan squad members, they might as well just say grunt. Might as well just say grunt. Sound like we get another uh, Krogan. We get one of each alien per game. Yeah, usually, kinda, not really. Your fucking bitch ass Vega, or Vega, what the fuck his name is in Mass Effect 3. Fucking pretending to be a Krogan is bullshit. I don't agree. about waking it yeah you've said that a few times now a normal Krogan is dangerous this one was created and likely educated by a madman I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight concerns we don't know anything about it commander I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now but I'm not giving up a potential resource it's your decision commander just be careful noted the cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. Activate the Krogan. Go on then, game. Go on. There you go. There you go. That's nice. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, um. oh yeah, I already read that one. Hey. Is it true we have a pod containing a baby Krogan down in the cargo hold? Not a baby. He's a full-grown super soldier, ready for combat. Please be careful if you decide to birth him. His personality is completely unknown. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. <laughs> you bitch, Maybe I guess I'll later. go feed my fish. This is ridiculous, it really is. I just wanted to feed my fish, that's it. It doesn't have to be her, it could be anyone. Just feed my fish. I don't want them to die. <sighs> oh, I didn't I was like looking up top and I was like, where are they? back to sleep so I only got like three hours of sleep in the last 24 hours I slept like two two hours this morning then I took a nap for about an hour like three four hours ago and now I'm just still dead tired oh god life is awful I really hate it I don't, I don't enjoy it at all. The 
subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. That's cool. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you are asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank... Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt... Grunt... Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Mm. Mm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Cool. I'm gonna wait for that, too. The Crow again. We done did it. We done stepped right in it. Well, I'm ready to take a nap. Probably won't actually happen. I'll just lay in bed for a couple hours, be depressed. And then maybe eventually take a shit. I can only hope. I actually don't remember the last time I pooped, which means it's probably a coming. We need to poop. Talking about big poops. Oh. Big old donkey dungs. Oi vey. Oi very vey. We smoked crack. Cause that ain't whack. Oh.
Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. <sighs> Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. We ain't rude. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't again. take any more of your time. Back to work. We never spoke to him again. They never had anything else to say, as far as I know. Maybe we'll try eventually, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty fucking sure. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. We can't afford it. I'm betting my ass. Oh. Yeah, we need a lot more of that stuff. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then uh -huh. I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. It doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone. Crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Um. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a specter after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. 
Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. I feels. I feels. I didn't even talk to her yet. I kind of forgot all about her. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. In a book, reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here. But what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are mm. also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. 
Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Alright, is anyone else gonna talk to you right now? Don't think so. I'll go up here. Uh, and then, yeah. Call it a day. Probably won't get back to this tonight. tonight. Just cuz. Just cuz. Go on, then go on. He's loading screen, so. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Right again. Uh, 5031, 5 Be done. Oh, you feed my fucking fish. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the There's feeling no he just doesn't that I'm care mentally about anything, stable. including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. As long as if you feed my fucking done, fish. better be involved. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Shit, I was trying to save. Fuck. Oh yeah, we're gonna end it here, so goodbye everyone. See you again real soon, probably.